Hey everyone, what's up? It's your boy BQ, Impact Lounge, YouTube channel, number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. If you can hear my son screaming in the background, he's playing uh, Roblox on the Xbox right behind me. And, uh, you know, my office is right next to the living room. It's the way that this house is formatted, so my bad. Wanted to talk uh, Trey Miguel. So I was watching the episode of Impact last night, and I, I get spoiled on everything. And I say spoiled, meaning I don't watch it live, and then I see it on social media. So when I knew there was going to be a mystery opponent, I was like, don't go on social media. Don't go, <laughs> don't go on social media. And I think like 10 minutes later, I got on social media. I saw this Trey Miguel. And um, I'm here to tell you guys he is back. He's back back. He's not, you know, back for a set of tapings. He's not, you know, back for six months, whatever. He is um, back back from what I'm being told. So, you know, he did legitimately leave just like the other rascals did. And he did not follow them to NXT. There was, you know, he he had been posting on Twitter. He had some family issues going on with, I believe, his nephew. And, um, you know, it sounded like it was something personal. Uh, so he did not, he didn't follow him. I don't know if the plan was to follow him. But I think what the dirt sheets were saying was that he was weighing other options. He, he had different offers. Um, I don't think it was a foregone conclusion that he, they were going to move on as a three-man team. Uh, you know, Trey was always kind of the solo star of the team. You know, Dez had was great as a solo guy before the Rascals, and then Trey was kind of that dude. I wasn't a big Rascals fan because I didn't like the gimmick. I liked the wrestlers. I just was never a fan of the gimmick. I've said that many, many times. So, you know, he's back. He's weighed his options, apparently. I don't know if he just liked the impact option. Uh, maybe it was the schedule. Maybe uh, it was the feeling of home. You know, if you know, uh, if you follow sports, there's guys like Bradley Beal, Damian Lillard, who have been really, really uh, loyal stars because they say, you know, I have a certain status within this organization. It would be difficult to move on and, and not have that status and to not know the people around me. You know, like like the, these players that I'm talking about when I'm talking about sports, they know the guys who uh, work in catering or who, uh, you know, who clean out the trash or who do take out the trash and who did this and this, you know what I mean? There's a sense of home, sense of familiarity, uh, but he is back. He's returned. So he was the, um, you know, the mystery partner. I thought it was pretty cool. Like when I did come across it on social media, I was like, Hey, this is pretty awesome. He's clearly being positioned to, to be a main event talent, which they need. You know, unfortunately the main eventers are all really small. <laughs> not all of them, but they're not, you know, we don't have those uh, real big dudes like we had years ago with Lashley and these dudes and Cage. And, you know, we had a pretty large main event scene. You can talk about Drew, EC3, just, just bigger guys. You know, now we're kind of getting to, you know, some smaller guys and it's okay. I'm starting to dig Rich Swan as champion. You know, at first I was kind of like, I don't know, but, you know, I kind of dig it. Trey Miguel never had that singles uh, title. The Rascals never had a title in general, but that's because... The company was pretty aware they were leaving the company well before the contract ran out. So, you know, they, they didn't put the belts on them, which is weird because they have guys they put the belts on past their contract and they leave the company and they're still the champion. You know what I mean? But it's whatever. Uh, glad to see Trey back. Um, excited to see what he can do. You know, he's not going to be under that rascal's banner anymore. Hopefully it's not, you know, the comedy. It's more of a serious dude. And when they, when they had that serious side of him, when he was feuding with uh, Ace Austin, I thought it was really cool. They didn't take it to the next level. They just kind of went right back to the treehouse with him. So uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments uh, about Trey Miguel and his uh, return to Impact Wrestling. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.